right, guys, I'm at a place called Modern Market. One of the cool things about Austin is you can go to a lot of different restaurants with some pretty high quality foods. So as you can see in this bowl, we've got some chicken, some sweet potatoes, some slaw. I don't know, I think that's cheese on top. I think quinoa. I'm not sure I'm gonna be eating that avocado sauce, but overall, I would say if you gotta eat out at a restaurant, this is about as good as you're gonna get. I am actually shocked how good this is. There's so much flavor to all of these different ingredients and then they come together perfectly. And look at everything else they have on the menu. They've got a breakfast bowl, they've got avocado toast, which I have never had before. Then they even have some burritos. Oh my gosh, I will definitely be coming back here. I'm turning in to a hippie, guys. I don't know, it's just, I'm gonna blame. Well, there's a vegan rally going down the middle of Congress right now. I don't think they would like me necessarily. You know, I try my best, but Modern Market, nine out of 10, definitely coming back here. And that was a perfect post-workout meal. So earlier in today, I worked out with Dan and Rocky and my fitness tip for the day is going to be find people to work out with at least once in a while. I've always been the guy that wants to work out by myself because it's my time and to an extent, I'm still that way, but sometimes, it's good to work out with other people, especially when they're bigger and stronger than you, help motivate you, show you different exercises. We did shoulders and arms, so we got a good pump in, got a fair amount of volume, not the most intense workout that we've ever had, but overall, it's just good to kind of switch things up and just open your eyes to different training techniques. And if nothing else, it's a good time to hang out with some friends, you know? So now, we got all that fitness done with, and we can get on with the day. Okay, so we're currently on Congress, and I much prefer this side of Congress by the Capitol building versus South Congress. It's just a little bit, it's a little different down there. Now, South Congress Cafe, amazing for brunch if you guys are ever around the area. And actually, I just caught this girl. She was Instagram storing me as I, as I walk with my camera, and I asked her if she was gonna tag me. She gave me a weird look. That's all right. So, today's plan is really, I just came down here to shoot. You guys have seen North Austin all too much. I wanna check out this coffee shop right here. I don't even know what it's called, the, the hideout coffee house. I just feel like Starbucks is a little bit, you know, overdone. Scratch that, no cold brew when it's 75 degrees out and perfect, not happening. But good thing is, there's a coffee shop every single block when you're in Austin, which is one of the best things about being downtown. So if you've never been to Austin, the state capitol building is actually right here on the end of Congress. So if you're on the opposite end on South Congress, you can look up the street and see it. It's an amazing view. It's a beautiful building, but I see that it's being taken over by the vegan rally. Entertainment or any of those other, that's simply for food. So we are only here to raise awareness for those animals who have no point. So honestly, I mean, it's a pretty peaceful protest. They just, they're trying to get their message across. You can't really hate on them for that. I don't really abide by that lifestyle as you guys know, but hey, I care about animals, right? I try to do my part. I just don't know that I could fully convert to that, but hey, they're, uh, they're not hurting anybody. They're just vocalizing their opinions. But that entire time, all of the non-vegans were surrounding the vegan crowd and telling jokes and kind of making fun of them, you know? And it's, it's to be expected, I guess, but I don't think anyone would be making fun of the fact that they're saving animals' lives and they have good intentions. They're just making fun of, of the protesting and the action part of it. And sometimes, you know, I feel like the vegan a little bit. I'm walking down the street with this camera, I'm in restaurants or wherever I might be. And I got stopped the other day by a guy who was interested in starting a vlog and he was asking me, well, don't you think I'll get made fun of? And I'm like, hell yeah, you'll get made fun of. I mean, do you not see how ridiculous that I look? UT must have won. They have this big parade thing going on. Oh my gosh, so it's actually a wedding. Somehow these people got the police to block off traffic to do their own little parade down Congress. That's that's like the most bougie thing I've ever heard of. Now, there's probably people making fun of that, but you know what they won't make fun of is in 30 years when those people have the coolest video ever, then they'll be the ones laughing. You know how many people are probably making fun of me at this very second as I'm talking to you guys? Probably a lot. But how many people do you think make fun of getting flown all throughout the United States for free, getting almost anything that you want for free, anything that you really use, clothes, supplements, food, beds, I mean, <laughs> anything you can really think of, making more on a yearly basis than some people do with their real jobs, 
and having all types of friends throughout all of the world, I mean, so many people, anywhere that I go, I know somebody, being able to move across the country and already have a friend base, I don't think anybody. My point is, people make fun of others for a variety of reasons. One, because they're losers. Two, because they're insecure and they're not happy with their own lives. But also, because they just sometimes don't see the result of someone's actions. So they just make fun of one part without realizing the full scope of things. And sometimes they don't even have bad intent. But also, why would you care? Why would you let that stop you from doing anything? It just... It just doesn't make sense to me. The reason that I'm even bringing this up is because it goes far beyond YouTube. That is not going to apply to many people, but I would say 98% of people are not doing something right now because they're scared of what someone else is going to think, whether it be their family, their friends, or just bystanders that they're never going to see again for the rest of their lives. So once you get past that barrier, you just feel, I feel good. That guy understands. So, it doesn't matter if it's starting up a new hobby or going to the gym or posting something online. If you wanna do something that's not gonna hurt somebody else, what the hell's stopping you? And you know, the worst part about this entire thing is that I never even got coffee. I was talked off of the ledge. Being a hippie, I'm gonna blame Polvo's. What a great restaurant. Lighting is so bad in here. I just can't even handle it, guys. But I need you all to do me a favor. If you have an HEB close by, please go pick up this Kali stir fry. And guys, I realize that it looks terrible. It looks like a bunch of mush, but it is so good. I've been eating this every day for weeks now. And then I've got four whole eggs to go along with that. Over here, we have some broccoli. If you guys didn't know, I'm still on a mission to make vegetables cool again. And if you don't like the taste of broccoli, you guys know add some Parmesan cheese. And here is the new secret ingre ingredient, pink Himalayan sea salt. Go to the closest hippie market and pick some of this stuff up. It is so delicious. Okay, so we're eating vegetables, we're being all healthy, you know, but sometimes you just need a little bit of a dessert. So let me show you guys a good option that's gonna be high in protein, moderate in carb, low in fat, starting with one scoop a pea science select protein powder. I'm gonna use the chocolate cupcake, which is one of my favorites. And then you're gonna need a flat out wrap or any kind of wrap really, and a banana. And check out how easy this is. All you're gonna do is put a little bit of water in the protein powder, just spread it, spread it on the tortilla or whatever it is that you're using. Put the banana on top of that, fold it over so then you have like a chocolate banana type of dessert, crepe almost. Put it on the skillet, warm it up, flip it after about a minute, get both sides a little bit crisp. Then you have a delicious high protein chocolate peanut butter quesadilla pizza pocket. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's pretty great. We are getting back on our fitness, guys. I really hope that this video helped some of you out. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below and please give this vid video a like. All you have to do is click that thumbs up button and it really does help me out a lot. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That's pretty awesome. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.